This is Rugby Merlin and welcome back to the channel. So after watching the game, all I can say is freedom. <laughs> yeah, uh, quite an amazing uh, test match there in Cape Town. Uh, very enjoyable again. Very tight between these two very good sides, I think. Uh, so let's get into it. Again, a fast start from uh, New Zealand and uh, they're looking good with ball in hand. Uh, South Africa do get a lot of possession, but it's all in their own half. Uh, in the first like 10-15 minutes when New Zealand do get the ball they, they definitely look dangerous so um, aggressive defence from the South Africans and they keep the New Zealanders out uh, but uh, scrum time which I was looking forward to Mal Herber and Williams, Tomari Williams uh, reigniting the um, rivalry uh, and it was great the camera angle really like you could see all, all of the um, little uh, battles that were going on there um, and, uh, you know, South Africa definitely get the better of the scrum in the first first section of the uh, sec uh, first half. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, Visa involved heavily. It's 100 miles an hour. Um, and New Zealand finally gets some ball and uh, Ratima looks good. But the uh, South African defence holds. Um, out of nowhere, the Visa does get a yellow card, but on replay, he does tackle the player without the ball. So, uh, yeah, yeah well-deserved yellow there. And um, when New Zealand were looking to uh, score, actually. So he could thank his stars that he you know, just got a yellow. Uh, New Zealand kicked the points and it's 3-0 uh, with about 15 minutes gone. Sevu Rees uh, returns the favour and gets yellowed himself. Uh, clumsy challenge, really, on uh, Vili Leroux. And uh, Vili looked uh, good uh, in the first half. He was trying to make something happen, you know what I mean? Very passionate player. Didn't always work out, and maybe he was trying a little bit too hard. But, uh, yeah, he was no doubt uh, up for it, though. And, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Sevu gets uh, yellowed and uh, 14 men apiece now. Uh, going into the uh, end of the first half. There's an amazing bit of uh, play from Colby. And uh, yeah, it's just a shame South Africa couldn't get him into the game more because he looks really sharp at the moment. Uh, skins like four or five players. And uh, yeah, he all, almost gets to the line. But the uh, last ditch tackle uh, from Kane. A um, couple of penalties exchanged and 6-3. Uh, uh, going into the um, halftime, oh, it's 9 3 actually, going into the halftime whistle. But uh, New Zealand really contesting the breakdown really well. And uh, yeah, the, that's something South Africa are really going to have to look at in the, in the second half because New Zealand have pretty much dominated them in the, uh, in the breakdown area, slowing down their ball and getting a lot of uh, penalty turnovers. So halftime summary uh, for New Zealand, Satiti, uh, Jordi Barrett, Savea, all looking very good. Cody Taylor had an excellent first 40. Um, South Africa, uh, some players really trying to make things happen. Uh, the defence has been excellent, but uh, in attack, not quite uh, clicking and uh, something is not quite working for them. Um, so they, they're going to have to like up the game definitely to uh, get back in this match. Uh, but the score is still so close uh, that uh, you know anything can happen now in the second half. So South Africa come out of the uh, blocks firing in the second half, playing very well, put some great phases together. Uh, New Zealand just about hold on, but they do concede some penalties. And a uh, big call uh, from the South African side now. Um, they go for the corner. Now, there's, they have a couple of bites of the cherry and uh, you think, oh, maybe they missed the opportunity, but oof, finally, Colisi with a captain's try in midfield, takes a crash ball again, which is great that, and uh, yeah, he gets a great try, uh, but still only 10-9 now to South Africa. So uh, a lot left to play in this match, but uh, Colisi was magnificent. I'm surprised he didn't get man of the match. Uh, for me, he was definitely. And I think he played brilliantly. Uh, so, yeah, well done to him. Then the battle of the benches begins. TJ and Anton Leonard Brown um, uh, on Sasha Cock and Lowe on for the box. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting now to see how the, the game finishes out. Um, yeah, breakdown penalty. Uh, South Africa do tighten up a little bit. 
but unfortunately, Vili gets uh, yellowed for an intentional knock-on. Um, again, this rule is a bit harsh, but uh, yeah, in fairness, he, it was quite a smart play because uh, New Zealand did have an overlap there on the outside, and they looked dangerous on the on, on the uh, on the edges all through the match. Uh, but uh, yeah, so New Zealand, uh, South Africa now down to 14 um, and they can see three points uh, while Willie is off. So 13-12 now. Now that was my prediction. South Africa to win by a point. So uh, it's going to stay like that until the end of the match. As the game progresses, um, Lomax, uh, the prop, gets carded with about 10 to go. Uh, shades of the first test really when when you know when it get getting down to crunch time New Zealand just lost a little bit of momentum uh, very harsh I think and I don't like to see a finish 14-15 uh, but uh, there we go uh, that's the, that's the game so uh, from the resulting lineup marks uh, slips over on the blind side uh, he heads up he sees that the, the scrum half and the wing have been drawn in and uh, yeah, um, over for easy try really. So um, yeah, um, the ending uh, is 18-12 to South Africa. So they win the Freedom Cup, uh, which was nice to see. And I, I think it meant a lot to Khaleesi. Um, he seemed very passionate about this game and particularly about lifting that cup. So well done to him. Um, really think he played well and uh, yeah, he really justified his uh, selection, even though he was carrying a bit of a knock, no doubt, from last week. Uh, to, so to summarise, uh, I think New Zealand's uh, breakdown work was excellent in the first half and really tested the South Africans. Um, uh, going for touch uh, from penalties or kicking the goal was a big question for both sides really, but uh, definitely New Zealand in that second half. Uh, the bench battle, I think um, Robinson was smart in terms of the plays he selected for the bench, but they didn't really produce when they came on. Um, Bodhi Barrett, uh, or Bowden Barrett, was, uh, didn't do anything really, and TJ Paranara was more of a liability than anything. Uh, Ratima played much better, I think. Um, Paranara was just talking to the referee way too much. Um, standout Stupavai, I think, for the uh, New Zealanders in the second row. Very, very fit guy. Uh, I think he had a full 80 and worked really hard all through the, the match for the full 80. Uh, Vili, passion as always. Um, you know, he tried to make things happen, tried to get South Africa going. And that was very important, but the uh, standout was Kolisi. Uh, what a magnificent performance on defence and attack. I think he, he had one of the best games I've ever seen him have in a South African jersey. Uh, so ultimately, all I can say is uh, no DNA, just RSA. And uh, yeah, congratulations to the box. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. All right, cheers.